This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. In crime news, police here in the capital investigating two overnight shooting incidents which left two adult males detained in hospital. In the first incident, according to reports, shortly before 9 o'clock Sunday, a man was driving on Soldier Road near Taylor Street when two men riding a trail motorbike opened fire on his vehicle, hitting him several times before speeding away. He was transported to hospital and is listed in serious but stable condition. In the second incident, according to reports, shortly after 5 o'clock this morning, a man was driving on Turnquest Avenue, Stabling Gardens, when occupants of a white Nissan Note opened fire on his vehicle, hitting him several times before speeding away. He was transported to hospital and is listed in stable condition. Police are appealing to anyone who has information that can identify those responsible for these incidents to contact the Central Detective Unit or Crime Stoppers at 328 TIPS or the nearest police station. Meantime, police are also investigating an alleged drowning here in New Providence. According to reports shortly before 3 o'clock yesterday, an adult black male was sitting on the edge of Portisky Dock when he was seen falling overboard. Concerned citizens pulled him from the water and began CPR. Paramedics transported the man to hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Foul play is not suspected at this time. However, an autopsy will be performed to determine the exact cause of death. Investigations are ongoing. And a young man in police custody after he was found in possession of an illegal firearm and ammunition. According to reports, shortly after noon on Sunday, flying squad officers were on patrol on Marshall Road when they observed a man walking. The man, upon seeing the officers, began acting in a suspicious manner. Officers conducted a search of the mail and recovered a .40 pistol with Con which contained rather six rounds of ammunition. He was taken into custody and is expected to be formally charged before a magistrate court. Another group of foreign fishermen apprehended in Bahamian waters this weekend, the third group in the past two weeks. A joint effort by the U.S. Coast Guard Operations Turks and Caicos, or OPAT, and the Royal Bahamas Defense Force on Saturday afternoon resulted in the apprehension of four Dominican fishermen. According to reports from Defense Force personnel, a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter operating out of Anagua reported the sighting of a 20-foot small go-fast vessel southeast of Great Anagua. A RBDF patrol craft was dispatched to intercept the vessel, which resulted in the apprehension of the vessel and four Dominican fishermen, along with fishing apparatus and a grouper. The men, along with the boat, and fishing apparatus were taken into custody and handed over to the police and immigration officials at Great Inagua. Meantime, Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Frankie Campbell, presented certificates to 70 graduates of the Ministry's Urban Renewal Department's Anger Management and Life Skills Program this past Wednesday. The adult participants from various communities engaged in the six-month course, the program designed to assist participants with self-awareness, skills, and strategies needed to recognize and control anger while living in a civil manner in their environment. Minister Campbell commended and congratulated participants on completing the program, admonishing them that although anger is a natural emotion, they should use it as a mechanism for change. Both the minister and counselor and facilitator for the program, Pastor Eric Fox, encouraged the graduates to find solutions to the social ills rather than retaliate in a negative manner. The 70 participants graduated under the theme, More Than a Conqueror. Our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.